for this year's moose hunt, I'm bringing my son with me. My goal is for him to confront himself. I want him to discover the strength, dig deep, and find the resolve to carry him through the hardest day. Life isn't about chasing comfort or some vague notion of happiness. Real growth happens in the struggle when you're tested and pushed beyond what you thought you could bear. The choices that seem easy, that lead you down a smooth, well-worn path, are the ones that will lead you astray. They don't forge character, they dull it. Competency has no substitute. Our camp is a 10-hour drive to follow by a 4-hour boat ride. The first mornings are usually recon, exploration of the territory, looking for tracks and see if there are any active moves in the vicinity. It didn't took long to find some fresh tracks. However, we weren't the only hunting party. Wolves at every corner. And they had their way of telling us they were there. Needless to say, moves were pretty quiet. We tried to push further in the territory, but the river low water level made our advancement negligible. We needed more water. We tried on foot, but the brush was extremely dense, thick adlers and cliffs. So we prayed for rain, but we might have prayed a tad too hard. For three days, heavy rain and winds prevented us from venturing by boat. Waterfalls magically appeared all around us. The lake level rose by two, three feet. That's a lot of water for a lake 33 kilometers long, four kilometers wide. Be careful what you wish for. You might get it, is a mantra of mine. The rain brought another set of problems. During the high winds, our anchor failed and we had to rescue our boat. My small engine flooded and gas tanks drifted away. Precious time spent not hunting. When we thought we could finally explore, the river had too much current. We managed to push the bit, but as the river got narrower, water faster, my little 4 HP slowed down and stalled. For the rest of the trip, we limited our hunt to the camp vicinity, competing with the wolves. All in all, it was one of the most memorable trip. Even Mooseless, as a fowler, I can say mission success. Even for me, it was an arduous trip, and I can be prouder of how he reacted to problems, focused on solution, and never sorry for himself. 
In my book, that's a win. Moose or not. Of course, my secret agenda is to get him hooked hard enough so later, when I'm old and frail, he still find a resolve to bring me with him. And also, have some cool video of me in my prime for my future grandkids, so they can see how badass granddad was. For the record, this is not how I co-call. I can't give all my secrets, 